Good morning, my fellow internet dwellers. How's it going? It's another new day. I'm actually in a really good mood right now. I have to deliver into Mississauga tomorrow morning. Now, that's not why I'm in a good mood, <laughs> obviously. But I'm in a good mood because I just called the customer to let them know, hey, I'm going to be there tomorrow morning. And I asked him a question, a very important question. And I said, there's going to be a lot of traffic in Toronto, Mississauga tomorrow morning. And the closest truck stop is, you know, 60 to 100 miles away that I'll be able to park at most likely, depending if I can park. Is there anywhere I can park around there? That was my question. Can I park on site to avoid the traffic in the morning? The guy was so friendly, like, oh, absolutely. We have tons of space. Come on down. We got a large lot. It's all paved. Park just wherever you want out of the way. And if anybody comes and asks you what you're doing there, you tell them to call me. I like this guy already. This is gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day tomorrow too. And he was in a really good mood. It put me in a good mood. You see, it's contagious. When you're in a good mood, it puts other people in a good mood. Even if you don't feel like being in a good mood, do it anyways, because it's a snowball effect, right? People see you in a good mood, they get in a good mood. And then you see that they're in a good mood and you get into an even better mood. I think that's how it works anyways. Don't quote me on that. Try it, let me know how it goes. Let's go down to Mississauga. I will not have to deal with the traffic tomorrow morning. We're going right to our receiver, parking right in the yard. We got a crane appointment for tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern time. So let's get moving. I'm here in Marathon, Ontario, still about 1,000 some kilometers or about 650 miles away. We have 13 hours we can use to get there. I won't have to use all of them, but I'll have to use a lot of those hours. Let's go. It's not getting any closer, just sitting here. Before we go though, we gotta make sure Old Blues is all ready to go. I've checked under the hood already. Everything on the truck is sound and good to go. Just gotta go and check the tires. Where's my gloves? And check all the lights. So I turn all my lights on like this, turn my high beams on, spike the trailer brakes so I can see the brakes. The old K Whopper tire whopper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Likes a little beating in the morning. I love all these marker lights. I was showing you this yesterday, right? Chicken lights. Love it. This trailer's a rental though. It's uh not one of ours. Wish it was. This trailer's awesome. Rides smooth, has storage boxes. You notice my tarps aren't on the deck? There are no storage boxes. I want my own trailer so bad. I'd want one like this, with this many chicken lights, maybe more, maybe more, but I want to roll tight. I'm going to roll tight on, I want to buy my own trailer, but uh, it's not in the cards right now or anytime soon, but maybe one day, maybe one day. See this, we got two signals, we got marker lights, we got brake lights. These lights we can turn on at the front there, which is awesome, but these trailers too, and then they flash for when you have oversized loads. I wish our trailers had those. That'd be awesome. Got our license plate light underneath here. Working. Everything's looking good, looking good. Give him a little tap tap with the K Whopper tire whopper. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a good day. We have premium winter air in every single one of these tires. This is what Marathon Ontario looks like. The town is just around the corner that way. We're at a rest area. This here is the highway, uh, is Highway 17, Trans-Canada Highway. This is the highway that takes you from Toronto straight through to Winnipeg. There's one other highway, the 11, that goes further north. It's got a few less hills, but it's 30 miles further to go that way and less services. I got a light load. This stuff is only 15,000 pounds all together. So I came down the 17. You've got the uh, premium state-of-the-art outhouses there for your convenience because apparently the building isn't, isn't open. Whatever. Oh, and this truck, uh, uh, whatever this is here. I was showing it to you yesterday in the dark. Let's go take a look at it now that the sun's up. Let's just go put my tire whopper back in here. 
where you belong with all my other junk. Don't look. Don't look. I need to organize it. So take a look at this. So I don't know what this is here. I think this is a ski resort or a, a ski hill. I thought it was a rest area. It's not actually. There's a big sign, that white sign right there. I know it's too far away for the fish islands. It says no trespassing. Unauthorized persons found on ski hill property will be prostituted. Prosecuted. So this, something here happened here. Look at this. Something happened here. This was here when I came through uh, a week ago too. Oh yeah, there's a landing gear. Oh, it smells like burnt, burnt stuff. So this was a trailer here. Landing gears there. Oh man, this thing burnt right down. It was a whole load of, uh, let's see. What is this? Great value, black oil, black oil sunflower seed. Probably a lot of it left here. Yeah. Oh, there's sunflowers in there. Coxote. Huh. Whole load of oat. Yikes, eh? There's the tires and the rims there. Oh man, this stinks like uh stinks like charcoal or Yikes. Yikes, how does that happen? What happened here? Wow. Oh, that buff out. I mean, get it in the shop. Yeah, a little polish on it, a little spit shine. It'd be good as new. I don't wanna I don't wanna touch anything here just in case everything crumbles apart and no need in getting myself hurt just trying to show you guys a burnt trailer. Judging by the the B up at the top left of the trailer there. I don't know if you can see it. And by the B I could tell who the trailer belonged to. Wonder how this happened. So did the truck start on fire first and then it spread to the trailer? I can't imagine how sunflower seeds would start on fire. They had to have started from the front here with the truck, right? So the truck pulled in here. I hope it didn't like start on fire while he was sleeping here. That'd be awful. I hope he was okay, or she, whoever the driver was. Oh yeah, there's the heater. This is the front of the trailer. So the truck's gone. It's just the trailer left here. And all the mess of the sunflower seed. I wonder who cleans this up? Whose job is this to clean up? This is a big mess. Someone's gonna have to clean it up, right? Who 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 pays for that? Who does that? Remember, the main question is who pays for that? Our little buddy over here, maybe he knows. Excuse me, Mr. Crow. Got a question for you. What happened here? He probably thinks it's like a sign from the gods. Look at all this seed that just fell from the sky in his mind. I know one day you just showed up here and there was just a whole trailer load full of seed and food for you, right? I won't bother you. You enjoy your feast. Have fun. Man. Okay, let's hit the road. Let's get out of here. Okay, everything is ready. Everything is set. Let's get on the road. I got no rhyme for that. I had to come in this way to find a parking spot last night, so I gotta loop around and go back that way. It's gonna be a good day. Not for that guy though, that was a bad day. That looks like that was a bad day. Nice big building here, boarded up and closed, run down. Wonder what happened. Oh boy, we can't really see 
traffic coming from that direction, eh? No one coming, no one coming. Yikes, you can't see anything from here. This is a terrible spot for a rest area. Just gotta hope for the best. No one's coming. Put on the four-way flashers. Keep an eye on the mirror. had 12 hours and 15 minutes available to me when I started this morning. That's because I drove 15 hours past midnight at my home terminal time, central time. So in Canada, you can drive 13 hours per day, but it has to be within the 24 hour period from midnight to midnight of your home terminal time. So since I drove till 1215 central, that counts towards my 13 in this 24 hour period. But after midnight central tonight, I'll get that 15 hours back if, if I'd need it or if I'd want it. There was a cop sitting at the bottom of that hill down there, pointing his radar gun at this hill, people coming down the hill. Hopefully people are paying attention. Got a cop right behind me. What you doing back there, buddy? What you do? I see you. I see you. I'm not speeding. What you doing? Just making me nervous? Okay. Okay. I think he's using me for cover. He's staying behind me so that people oncoming don't see him. Oh, he is poking his, poking his head out there. He wants to get by me. I bet he's going to pass after this truck. Yep, here he comes. Oh, he's got his lights flashing. Well, but I didn't know you had your lights flashing. I would have pulled over. Oh, he turned his lights off. He just flashed his lights just to pass me. What? Did you see that? Oh, now what's this guy doing? You're speeding to get past me right behind a cop? That's ballsy. Okay. What just happened there? So he did not have the cherries on. He did not have the lights flashing, because if he had the lights flashing, I was watching, I was watching. If he had them on, I would have definitely moved over for him. But as soon as he turned out to pass, pulled out to pass, I guess. Oh, there's another cop behind me. What? What's going on here? So that SUV in front of me must be friends with them or something. Because he had to speed to get past me and he's between two cops. What's going on here? Oh, here comes another guy. Are you gonna turn your lights on too? No? Oh, you hear that engine? In a hurry. Thank you for your service, good sir. Thank you for getting out from behind me. I don't like it when they sit behind me. I have a squeaky clean driver's abstract. I want to keep it that way. That driver's abstract is my lifeline. That is what provides my family with food and shelter. That is the most important thing I have. Maybe not the most important thing I have, but that is one of the most important things I have that ensures that I can take care of the most important things in my life. We're here in White River, Ontario. And one of the last remaining Robin's Donuts on planet Earth. This place was, uh, or this franchise, I guess, was pretty big until Tim Hortons came in and just nuked it. Now you hardly see him anywhere. I remember as a kid there was a Robin's Donuts in Steinbach. But we never went in there because back in the day when I was a kid, people were allowed to smoke inside. And Robin's Donuts was the place in town where all the smokers gathered for coffee. So the place was just, it, you open the door and like a cloud of smoke would come out the front door, right? You order some of the donuts in there and the donuts tasted like cigarette smoke. It was gross, so I never went in there and that's sort of been my image of Robin's Donuts my whole life. So 
maybe that's not a fair image for them to have in my mind, but that's the one they gave me. Nowadays it's a little different. You can't smoke in indoors and stuff, but still. Outdoor shoes on here. This is where I was actually planning on spending the night, but I was worried I wouldn't get a parking spot here. There's probably 10 spots. I don't think I would have gotten a spot. This would have been all packed by the time I got here. There was just barely a spot where I could park at the rest area up in Marathon there. And I saw an open space and I took it. It was a little bit risky though, like I said last night. I don't usually stop at places like that. I like to stop in town where if my truck stops running for whatever reason, I have alternatives of where I can go to keep warm. Either like a 24 hour truck stop or a hotel that's open, like the lobby's open 24 hours or something. Just in case, because I don't want to freeze in the wintertime, right? Summertime, it's, it's different. Then I'm more worried about being stranded during the day when it's really hot. But that's easier to keep cool than uh, to keep warm in winter, right? I'm going to go in here and grab a coffee. And uh, we're going to hit the road. We still have 1,012 kilometers to go, so we still have about 620 miles ahead of us today. I'm just so glad that we can go right to the customer and sleep right there. Because the place that we're going to... It's like, it's sort of right close to the coast, right on the lake. So I have, I'd have to actually go right through the city during rush hour tomorrow to get there. It would kill at least two to three hours of my drive time in my day. So glad that he agreed to allow me, just let, let me park on site there. I mean, a lot of places don't do that. And I'm thankful when, when they do allow that. So we we'll wake up tomorrow morning right there. The crane will be there at uh, probably 7.30 a.m. to set up. 8 o'clock is the appointment. Get the stuff off my trailer. Call into work, into the office, see what they got for me next, and uh, we'll see where, where the adventure takes us from there.
we've made it over the top of Lake Superior. And immediately we found ourselves in a better climate. Not much snow left here. Maybe it's because lower elevation, I don't know. I'm not complaining. I still have about six and a half hours of driving left to go. And about seven and a quarter hours to do it in. We made it all the way to Sudbury and I still got quarter tanks of fuel. We've done pretty good on fuel all the way through here. That's over 1700 kilometers. And I'm not gonna fill up all the way here either. I'm just gonna uh, put about 150 liters in. Fuel is uh, cheaper down in Mississauga than it is up here in Sudbury. So I'm just gonna fuel up enough to get me down there. We'll top it up there. made it down to Mississauga, just around the corner from my delivery. I had permission to park in the yard there, but it wasn't lit, it was all dark, so I decided I'd go to the Petro Pass. It turns out there's a Petro Pass truck stop just around the corner. I had to grab fuel anyway, so I fueled up tonight, so I don't have to worry about doing that tomorrow. Fueled up and I saw there was an open spot, and I took it. I just feel better about parking in a, a well-lit space. I'll show you a map of where I'm at here. I hope you guys enjoy the, the little zoom in on the map uh, that I do. I always enjoy putting that in there so you can sort of get a, a real feel for where I'm at. I know a lot of you haven't traveled these roads before. You're from all over the world. So I like to make sure that you understand where I am. So to give you just a just general better understanding of what I'm talking about. And, you know, maybe one day you come visit Canada, you'll see some of the sites. You'll remember, oh yeah, I saw this in Trucker Josh's vlog, that's right. I don't go to Toronto all the time, and that's on purpose. But uh, there's a lot of people that live here. A lot of people. Canada's biggest city. It's Canada's New York. And Mississauga is kind of like what, what would you call it? Sort of like what New York is to New York? Not even. It's sort of like what the Bronx is to Manhattan, if Toronto was Manhattan. It's, it's the same city. It's the same city. It's like Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's, I call it all Toronto. I think it, I think the official term for all of it is the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area. But I'm not from here. I don't know. But I do know we have to deliver first thing in the morning. We're gonna get this unloaded and see where our reload takes us, and see where this adventure of life takes us next. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. Really appreciate it. Always love all the thumbs up. 
the comments down below. Let's start some conversations down there. You can reply to other comments, make some friends if you want to. Let's just please all be respectful of everyone down there. And also, hit that subscribe button. You know the drill. That's what helps me out the most by doing that and commenting. If you want to go one step further, you can always click the join now button below the video or on my main page to find out ways that you can get even more involved with the channel and get early access to some videos and some members only content. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.